Good evening, math friends. Tonight's lesson is lesson 2.4, estimate products. We are working on page 29 of your Go Math book, so make sure that you're there with me. And let's write down our essential question at the top of page 29. Our essential question is, how can you estimate products by rounding and determine if exact answers are reasonable? Go ahead and write the essential question down at the top of your page. Now, let's look at number two in our Go Math book. I want you to watch as I model the problem. It says, estimate the product by rounding. So we're not going to give an exact answer. They want the estimate. So we have two times 6,254. What we need to do is we're going to round the greatest factor, which is 6,254. We're going to round this number to the highest place value, which would be the thousands place. Remember, we underline the digit that we round to. We look to the place to the right. This two is four or less, so my six is going to stay the same. I'm going to keep it a six. Everything behind becomes a zero. And remember, everything before stays the same. And we don't have anything before the place value. So 6,254 rounds to 6,000. Now we're going to drop down our two times. And now we can multiply. We're going to multiply using basic facts. I have two times six. So two times six is 12. And as you can see, our ones, tens, and hundreds place is being held by a zero. So in our answer, we're going to hold our ones, tens, and hundreds place by a zero as well. So we're going to add three zeros. So our estimate is 12,000. And we found that by rounding the greatest factor and multiplying. Now let's look at our next problem. We are skipping number three and we are going to jump to number four. Number four says estimate the product by rounding. We have five times 5,503. I want you to do this one with me. We're going to work together. Now remember, they want an estimate, so we're going to round the greater factor, which is 5,503. We're gonna round this to the highest place value, which is the thousands place. Now, this five in the hundreds place is five or more. So my five in my thousands place is going to turn into a six. And everything behind becomes a zero. Now we can drop down our five times. So now our problem is five times 6,000. We can multiply using basic facts. Five times six gives me 30. So 30 is for five times six. Now our ones, tens, and hundreds place are being held by zeros. So our ones, tens, and hundreds place need to have zeros in them as well for our answer. So our estimate is going to be 30,000. Make sure you have this one written down with me. Okay, let's jump down to number six. We are going to work on number six and number eight. Now, I want you to estimate the product by rounding. You're going to do this on your own, but don't worry, you've got this. So go ahead and pause the video and then press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's see what we've got. Well, for number six, we had six times 98. Our greater factor is 98. We needed to round 98 to the highest place value, which gives me 100. Then we can multiply. Six times 100, or six times one, gives me six, and then we bring our two zeros down to our answer. So number six is 600. Let's look at number eight. Our greater factor for seven times 777 is 777. It rounds to 800. And now we have seven times 800. Well, seven times eight is 56. 
and then we drop down our two zeros as our place value holders. So our answer is 5,600. How did you guys do? Awesome, give yourselves a happy face. Now let's jump down to number 10. Now for number 10, the question is a little bit different. It says find two numbers that the exact answer is between. So let's look at number 10. It says six times 7,381. So what we're going to do, we are going to have to round twice and then multiply and then we'll have two numbers that our exact answer would be between. Let's look at our greater factor, which is 7,381. I'm going to think of this number on a number line. Now, I've drawn a number line here. Here's where my 7,381 would fall on the number line. And of course, in the middle, we have our 7,500. Now I need to think, which two numbers is 7,381 going to be between? Now, if we look at our thousands place, we see, oh, well, to the lower end, if we were rounding down, we would have 7,000. And if we were rounding up, we would have 8,000. So those are our two numbers that we're going to be using. So we would need to multiply our six times 7,000 and then times 8,000. Let's go ahead and multiply. We have six times seven for our basic facts, which is 42. Then we add in our three zeros for our place value holders. So we have 42,000. And for our six times 8,000, we have six times eight, which is 48 and then our three zeros for our place value holders. So we have 48,000. So these are the two numbers, the two estimates that our exact answer, if we were to multiply six times 7,381, would be between. All right, mathematicians, let's look at number 12. Number 12 is asking us to find two numbers that the exact answer is between. So just like before, we're going to look at eight times 684, and we need two estimates for this one. So let's look at our 684, and we know that 684 is between 600, if we would round down, and 700. Now we can multiply our 600 and our 700 times the 8 and we will have two estimates. Let's go ahead and multiply. We have 8 times 6 is 48 with our two zeros for our place value holders. So we have 4,800, and eight times seven is 56, with our two zeros for our place value holders, and we have 5,600. So we have two numbers that our exact answer should be between 4,800 and 5,600. Let's jump down to number 13, and it's a problem-solving question. It reads, Isaac drinks eight glasses of water each day. He says that he will drink 2,920 glasses of water in a year that has 365 days. Is this exact answer reasonable? Explain. Now, we need to figure out what they're asking us. It says that each day day he's going to drink eight glasses for 365 days. That's a multiplication problem. We have eight times 365. Now this answer is 2,920. We want to know if the exact answer is reasonable. 
what we're going to do is we're going to find two estimates for 8 times 365 to see if 2,920 is between the two estimates. So remember, we have our 365. I want two numbers that it's in between. I know that 365 is between 300 and it's between 400. So I'm going to take my 300 and my 400 and I'm going to multiply it times my eight. And I will get two estimates. Eight times three is 24 with our two zeros, 2,400. And eight times four is 32 with our two zeros is 3,200. Now let's see, is our exact answer reasonable? Is 2,920 between 2,400 and 3,200? Yes, it is. So we can say, yes, our exact answer is reasonable because 2,920 is between 2,400 and 3,200. All right, friends, our homework for tonight is on page 30. We are doing numbers one and two. Remember, only number one and two on page 30. When you finish your homework, remember to assess yourself. Let us know if you are feeling like you're a level one novice, level two apprentice, level three practitioner, or a level four expert. Write this down at the bottom of page 30. I hope you enjoyed your video tonight, and I know that you guys did super awesome. We will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.